Now the Bulldogs go down to the Raiders. Bit of pressure on them now, but... Oh, I think so. When you had a look at when I had a look at the both sides, they, they, they were missing a, a whole host of players. The Canberra Raiders. Yeah. I reckon the doggies were nearly at full strength. Gee, there's some blokes, you know, there's some blokes getting overpaid there. If you have a look, if they're on the salary cap at the moment, I don't see how you know they haven't got any strike players. Me and two were talking about it in the in the green room a little bit earlier. Strike players. Every side that you look at, you look at their strike and blokes with the ability to score points. I just can't see it in the doggies. But you know the other problem they've got, and this is the most important problem, their fans could normally look forward to some excitement next year, but they are on their salary cap for next year and they cannot sign anyone some staff. Well, you know the other thing too, Buzz, now the way, if you're, if you're a decent player, you're generally tied up, aren't you? If they're going to look to offload a few players but and then try and get some more in, what sort of cap well, calibre of players well, are you going to bring in? They've already offloaded players. No, but they do it again. That's what they I'm saying. There's no one left to offload. Can I just make a point? Oh, here we go. I thought you the were new, to say. The new board led by Lynn Anderson was highly critical of the former board for extending Des Hassler's contract and having to pay him out. I think the new board has got a bit to answer with the contract extension of Dean Pay. They are going to find it really hard with his coaching record and the way the team's playing to now to find players who are prepared to go to him ahead of Craig Bellamy, Trent Robinson, Wayne Bennett or any of the good coaches. I think you've got a really big problem there, Heaps. You're not listening. Well, you haven't they've said got any movement move. in the salary cap. They've got none, and they've given a one-year lolly. Yeah, but the you know, are getting paid. You Give me a break. No, I'm, I'm not bagging you. I'm, I'm, I'm questioning the board. And the thing is, come November, they can sign players for the following year. Yeah. If Dean Pay is there as coach, I don't think... So if they're not going good, where do you think that... He will be. So you're suggesting your club might sack him? He's, got, he's been given a year. Phil, what? You could put anyone to catch that bulldog side. They, they just haven't got the strike. They haven't got the players. Oh, I don't understand where the. the they've got good first players, but they're not. They're, look, they let those players go to, to, to relieve the salary cap. Where did the money go? I don't know. Why did, why, why did Clemmer have to go? Why did Woods have to go? Why did the Morris brothers have to go? Clemmer wanted to go. Yeah, Are you suggesting there wasn't some cash in it? Well, of course there was cash. There's cash in every player signing. But again, I'm coming back to the coach that you guys chose to extend when no one else was interested in talking to him, taking him. And now you've got this situation because where... Because he's got a... It's just a man, listen, the squad's oh, yeah, not going to change. That's what I'm saying. They haven't got the squad's not going to change. They're good first if players. They had they're room, they're room room under a new catch. They might. I tried to explain at the end. Of I wouldn't have let anyone go there. I wouldn't have let anyone go if that's the case. I would have left. I would have made the player stay. Sometimes I feel like doing this to myself when you talk. Do you? Let's talk about Hudson Young.